Hey guys, Karo Sif here with a double review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Zets My Rise Key Set and Zets My Rise Key Set 2 from Kamen Rider Zero One. These are a pair of premium bond exclusive sets which feature deluxe versions of the Zets My Rise keys that were not featured with the Zets My Riser, which covers all of the remaining basic types of Machia. Each set includes four Zets My Rise keys and four cracked key parts. So, let's get started! We'll start off by looking at the SMRI's keys featured in set 1. First up is the Barotha Magia SMRI's key. It's a green key that is based on the Kuji Barotha Teriyuki, an ex extinct species of mantis fly. And we've got the name Barotha Magia, types its mets, which is something that's featured on all of them, and they also all have the Magia symbol there, as well as uh, look at the animal right there, the mantis fly. You have the inside piece, which where you have the mechanical skeleton, as well as the two sounds of mix on its own. And for each of these, you can take off the front part, and then switch it with one. It has a bunch of cracks molded and painted into it to represent how they get cracked when used in the Zitzma riser. Next is the Kuene Magia Zitzma Raiski, based on the Kuene Osukis, an extinct species of gliding lizard. This one is a scarlet color. Again, I have Kuene Magia, type Zitzmets. Emil there, symbol there. And then the x-ray on the inside. Well, there is a bit of a blunder when it comes to the sound department. As you'd hear, it says Kuene O instead of Kuene. And while it is something that is correct in terms of the way it comes from, it is definitely a blunder in the fact that it's adding in, in a syllable that's not there in the actual name of the key. So they should have really actually double checked to make sure that both of them match up, and it's surprising that this made it all the way to production. And here he is with the cracked key part. After that, we have the Ekal Magia Zetsmerized key, a brown key based on the uh, Ekaltadetta, an extinct species of kangaroo rat. And there's the x-ray. And the cracked key part. And the last one is the Neohi Magia Sesame Rice Key, based on the Neohilovites, an extinct species of squid. X-ray. And the cracked key part. Next, we'll look at the keys featured in set two. First, what is the Oniko Magia Zetsmirai's key? Probably key based on the Oniko Nycteris, an extinct species of bat. Here's the x-ray. And the cracked key part. Then we have the Vicaria Magia Zetsmirai's key. Based on the Vicaria, an extinct species of snail, and it also makes it the only Zetsmirai's key 
or one of only three Zismirized keys to share its name with the exact name of the extinct animal it's based on. This is a bit of a light brown key. Here's the x-ray. And the crack key. Next up we have the Gairu Magia, Zithmirai's key. And this one is based on an extinct species of gastric brooding frog, meaning it raises its young in its stomach, and it's based on the Japanese name, which is the Ibukuro Komori Gairu. And this is a bit of a more frog-like green color. The x-ray, which is in this case two x-rays. And the cracked key. And then the last of them is the Arsinomachia Zetsmerize key, based on the Arsinotherium, extinct two-horned mammal that is similar to the rhino but not actually related. This is a nice blue color. And also this is nice because with this one, the x-ray actually matches up quite well with the uh, silhouette on the front. Here we have the x-ray. And the cracked key part. And this is the basis for the awaking Arsinos. It's the memorized key, the dummy key that came with the thousand driver. Next up, we'll use the Zetsume Rise keys with the Zetsume Riser, or at least one in full, as like I explained in my review of the Zetsume Riser a while back, they all make the exact same sound when used with this belt. So we'll just be using one key in full and then kind of just briefly showing off the others. So, we'll use the Zetsume Rise key for the Magia first featured in the series, or the first one featured, which was Barotha. As you can see, the cracked, the cracks in the key, center around the hinge where this cable burrows into. Now, if we press the button again, we get the Zetsumets Nova. And we'll just briefly run through the rest of them in the riser, just to see what they look like. Those are the keys for set one, and then we'll do the ones for set two.
After that, things will start to get a bit more unique when we get to using them with the Zero One driver. So with these ones, in addition to the transformation sound, you also get a description of each Magia. And then for all of them, they have the same special attack, which is the Zetsumetsu Impact. So I only have to show that off once. Next is Kuene. Then Ekal. Some of them have long descriptions, other have short ones. Next is Neohi. Already had your turn. After that is Oniko. Then Vicaria. Then Gairu. Oh, mouth, stomach. Same deal. And then Arsino. After that, we'll use them with the Shot Riser, though to keep things a bit on the short side, or just to make sure it doesn't go on too long, I'll only be using a couple of them. The 
And so in this case, we get the transformation sound and the announcement afterwards, or description afterwards, but not the name announcement. So then we have the Zetsmetz Blast. <laughs> And we can bring in the Shadowizer buckle for the Zestimates Blast Fever. And I'll also bring in Oniko so we can see the transmission done in. Valkyrie style. And finally, we'll bring in the attached arrow for the weapon fin. And finally, we'll bring in the attached arrow for the weapon finisher. And it's the same for all of them. So we'll only use one. And there we go. So overall these are a couple of good sets for fans of the Magia, though I will say that filming this review was interesting. I do have a pretty long backlog, or do have a large amount of things that I got that were kind of on hold, so I'm trying to kind of get through them as quickly as possible so I can then move on to some of the newer things from Kamen Rider Saber and other shows. So with this one, Obviously, because there are a lot of similarities in the sounds of these keys makes, I wanted to film all of them at once. But again, like the key thing here was trying to show all the unique sounds while also trying to you know cut out some of the repeat sounds. We're just trying to make this thorough yet also compact, which was a very interesting thing to do. But I hope that this was enough to satisfy you guys and to give you a general idea of what these sets are like. It is, of course, nice that, like with the ones that came with the Zitzman Riser, these do have the cracked key parts, so you can you know, pick and choose whether you'd like to have them with the complete version or the cracked version. And definitely the cracked versions look a little bit better when put into the Zitzman Riser. Of course, this is a premium bond item, so you'll have to try to find it on the aftermarket, and hopefully you'll be able to find it for a good price. Next time, I'll be looking at the Raiders keys, by looking at the Crushing Buffalo and Splashing Whale, as well as the Soaring Penguin and Vain Horseshoe Crab Progress Key Sets. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Kero City, riding off.